Celeste Mondo. Alex Wilson. Melissa Henry. Leo McWilliams. Emily Cruz. Alexa Williams. Kayla Smith. Kayla Valdez. Jensen Gibson. Jeffrey Gold. Present a couple of game balls to head coach Chuck Waddington. Congratulations to the Wilds of Angelo State for the outstanding season and your participation in the NCAA Division II postseason. Fans are under the regional championship match tomorrow night. Starts at 7 o'clock. Um, you know, it was a tough game. We played really hard and we wanted it really bad. It just didn't go our way tonight, but I'm really proud of all, all of the girls and the seniors, and we love them. Well, I mean, these matches are always the funnest. The better teams you play, and if you play good, those are those are the most fun. Even if you don't always win, I mean, you go out there, you play your best, and playing in an environment like this where they have a million fans, and you're hearing them yell at you and heckle you, that just pushes you and makes you work harder, and it's it's a lot of fun. It was a fun match. It's been a great season, you know, like making the, having, having these accomplishments that we've made this season are really great. Um, but we're looking to do more next year, you know, but we can't just say it, we have to actually do it. We have to work hard in the spring and really focus on what we want to do. Um, we didn't make a lot of errors. Uh, we, had, we had quite a few just dumb mistakes that we made in the other games that, you know, threw us off. But, I mean, we were in system a lot. We were running our offense, and when we were in system, they couldn't hang with us. But they were in system more than we were, and I think that's what made the difference. Seniors Celeste Bonner, Kayla Smith, and Debbie Ole, coach, just... First general thoughts about the game? My kids fought hard. You know, I'm, I'm really proud of them for that. And um, they proved that they wanted to be here. You know, and um, I really feel like we're good enough to be playing tomorrow. And uh, Central Missouri played a great match. They played hard. They played every point the way they're supposed to play it. And, um, you know, um, I'm disappointed that we lost because I feel like we could have, I feel like we could have won. And, um, but hats off to them. Uh, the third and fourth set, both sets were just kind of back and forth, back and forth. You know, neither team could really get much of a lead. Um, kind of what, in your mind, was the deciding factor there as you came down the stretch? Truthfully, I feel like it was matchups. Um, you know, in the second set, in the first first set, they got the matchup they wanted. Second set, second set, we did. And then, uh, you know, they did some flip flopping. And we tried to react to that. We just couldn't. Couldn't find that same matchup again, and um, you know, but ball control wise, it, it kind of failed us when we needed it most. You know, we um, we needed to be in system just a little bit more on some key points, and um, I feel uh, you know it it left us for a little bit, but um, you know they served tough for a reason. You know, that's what you have to do, and uh, we just got to learn from it, and get better, and uh, understand what it what it need, takes to be great at the end of the year. You know, I feel like we're really, really close. And um, super proud of my team. Feel really bad for these three right here. You know, they put everything into this for us. And, uh, you know, our other kids did too. But, um, you know, when you know it's your last match, you want it just that little bit more. And um, I feel really, I hurt inside for these guys. What have these three, the three seniors on the team, meant to the, the program? Well, um, you know, Celeste, this is her first year here, and um, she has brought s some just real high-level experience to us and uh, just a winning mentality. She came here because she wanted to win, and uh, I, hope I, I hope I helped her get that. I feel like I did, and um, I've been real pleased with how she's done. She's a great kid, and, uh, you know, I love her to death. And Debbie's been here for two years. She's a two-year transfer and just brings some intensity to the floor that you need in big matches like this. Took some big swings for us. and. You know, it's just a strong player, strong personality. She can do whatever we need. Um, Kayla is my first four-year player, and um, <laughs> we're gonna miss her a lot. You know, she's a she's a great player, but she's a great person off the court. She does anything we need. She's our rock. You know, and um, 
I don't, I don't know that you can replace that, you know, that you can have five people and it wouldn't matter. Um, Kayla's been here since the start, you know, and uh, she got recruited by another coach into a program that was the bottom of the league. And she's leaving it, you know, near the top and into a regional. And uh, she's been a big part of that. So I, I will miss it for sure. I know our team, our program will miss it for sure. Open up for questions for coaches, student athletes. Uh, coach, you talked about matchups. In the second set, that does really seem to give uh, the gyms trouble. Just talk about that a little bit. Well, two things happened with that. You know, the matchup we wanted was uh, Celeste on their middle, number 11, because she was killing us. She was going over um, 12, Valdez. And um, so we got that matchup, and that created some some better offensive matchups for Kaylin. Kaylin is the craftiest player you'll ever play against. You know, she's not going to just pound the ball. She knows how to score. And... Um, you know, we just we couldn't get it back. You know, they shifted going into game three, and, and we shifted going into game four to try to get that matchup back. And um, I feel like if we had it, we would have won. But it was off by one. It just it just made that little bit of difference, you know. And games three and four were good games. They were good sets. And um, But I really feel like that matchup was the biggest difference. That's why he shifted, because I think he knew it too. How hard is it to match up on a team like the Jennings that have so many good uh, hitters? Well, it's just – it's – it's a one-on-one -on -one situation, you know. It's just trying to, you're trying to get one player versus another player, and let the, all the all the other things fall in place. And um, you know, a lot of teams they'll they start the same way every time they go. It doesn't matter what what the situation is, they start the same way. But <laughs> Flip's been around a long time. You know, he's a great coach, and he made some good adjustments. And we, you know, it's a guessing game after that. Once you know that the other team is trying to get a matchup that's favorable for them, you know, and uh, so he. Uh, he got it, and uh, that was a good move by them. And we tried to counter it, but it just it was just off by one. That's all it was, really. Uh, as for the players, how comfortable do y'all feel? Um, you never really let Central get get out to a lead, get out, get comfortable. Uh, how comfortable do you feel about uh, the way the game was going? Um, I thought we just played really hard. I mean, like, when we just play our game, we're comfortable. But then, like, they pushed us a little past our limits and then we started getting a little uncomfortable and like we started like losing our communication and then things kind of just went down from there but then there are times where we're like what are we doing we need to come back to play our game and then we would and then we'd be right back up there with them and so they pushed us we pushed them and so yeah like debbie said i mean it was back and forth it was a battle like We'd finally get into our comfort zone, and then they'd push us out of it, and then we'd push them out of there. So it was really back and forth. I mean, we felt comfortable, and then we didn't, so. Well, what has this run been like for you guys this year, making it so deep into the postseason? Uh, it's been a lot of fun. I can definitely say that. Um, this is the best year we've had in my four years here, and it's been exciting. It's been quite an adventure, and I, I, I mean, I'm sad it's over, but it was a great season to end on. Yeah, I agree. Like, this being my first year here, and like Coach said, like, he really did bring, he promised, like, he promised me that I'd come into a winning team, and he like, he definitely delivered that. I mean, this is one of the best year, the teams I've played on in my college career so far, and I feel really fortunate that I got brought into this situation with this team, and, I mean, we just, we had a good run. What was it about this year? What, what, what clicked so much? What was kind of the key for why you guys were able to have the success, uh, you know, make the huge jump you guys have made the last couple years? Um, I think we finally just got it as a team. I mean, we've been young the last few years, and I think we finally, we've slowly gotten better and better each year, and this year we just finally focused on what we need to get done. It was the little things that we just had to work on, and uh, so I think we knew, we had experience, and I think that helped us beat the better teams this year. I think it was our leadership also, like, we had some really good leaders on the team. Like, when things went rough, we knew who to go to. Where last year we kind of didn't, we kind of like, we're still figuring each other out. But this year, our leadership and even our support on our bench, like, they were really big for us this year, too. Yeah, I think we were very comfortable, too, with each other this year as a team. I think we all, on the court, all got along really well and played together as a team and as a whole. I think one of the biggest factors in that was buy-in. You know, they bought into what we were trying to do, and they worked their tails off to, to make it happen. You know, you don't go from literally the bottom to the top without without sacrifice and commitment to what we're trying to do. And um, so but I think buy-in was huge. And, uh, you know, I think this this group has set the bar for others to come. You know, I mean, we we had goals of, you know, being at the top of our conference, 
you know, making a regional, being ranked in the country, you know, and, and we did all those things, you know. And so now, every year that I've been here, we've taken another step, and it's because of these kids. And um, and so there's there's just another step we need to take, you know. We just got to do that much more, just to make that that jump, you know, to the next level, get to a regional final, get to an elite eight. And I think uh, the future is bright at Angelo State, and. It's, it's going to be a great place to be for a long time. Uh, Coach, last one for me. Um, you're from Texas and you still somewhat travel well here to make the regional. Describe uh, how important the sport's been. <laughs> they, were, they were awesome. You know, they were, they were I mean, they were, how, what was the attendance? We don't have it on here. Um, you know, there's a bunch of Central Missouri people here. It was great. It was a great crowd. And I think that helps our team. But they were kind of cheering versus our little group, you know, and I really feel like our, our group of parents and friends, they, to they totally held their own, you know, and they really gave us a push when we needed it, you know, and um, they travel well everywhere, you know, and they're 100% they're behind what we're doing, and, um, you know, a couple of them couldn't make it last night, they drove in today, they got off of work, they just, they sacrifice as much as these kids do. And, I can't tell you how much that means to our kids for sure. And to me, you should look up in the stands and see people who want, want it for you and are there behind you. You know, that was, it really was, it was awesome. And, um, you know, you don't always get that, you know. And uh, so I can't ask for a better group of supporters, you know, and parents and friends and family. They were, it was a big, it made a big difference for us for sure. Um, they were in system a lot and, you know, their hitters were really strong. They weren't, you know, they weren't going soft and um, we just, you know, missed a few, missed out on a few opportunities, so.